Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video and today we're going to talk about Lockdown, alright? Now, there's two different ways to use Lockdown. One is to get kills, two is for survivability. There's also two different things. You got your Lockdown modules, which is pretty much guaranteed to lock somebody down instantly. Or you've got your we Lockdown weapons where you have to shoot somebody a bunch of times before you lock them down. All right. Now, what's better? Well, in a way, the lockdown ammo, but that does have a nice cooldown. So we're going to go into battle and we're going to talk about a few different ways to use lockdown. All right. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So these are the only lockdown weapons that I own. Everything else has a lockdown module. And... I'll tell you, there's only one robot in this entire game that is immune to lockdown, and that's Ravana. It's not that he's immune, but his ability, as soon as he goes into his ability, he's able to unlock himself down and get the heck on out of there, okay? So Ravana is very, very hard to deal with on the battlefield. He's just a big old pain. So let's go ahead and start off with our, our Ardent Blitz. All right, this guy has not only a lockdown weapons, but a lockdown module. Now, like I was saying, there's two different ways to use your lockdown. One is to survive, two is to get kills. You guys already know how to use the lockdown to get kills, right? You lock somebody down, they can't move, and you shoot the crap out of them until they die. But we're going to try and talk about this for a survival situation. All right, so this is, this is very important here, all right? Especially if you're playing like a squishy robot that dies really easily. You're like, oh man, like a phantom or a uh, Or something like another fast robot like right here. It's charging me. It's charging me. What do I do? I shoot it with my lockdown module and I can keep running away All right, which I didn't actually do right now because that thing's just gonna teleport but if it's rushing at me I can just hit lockdown ammo on the module Lock it down instantly as long as I have ammo left in my weapons and this thing can't walk like right here, okay? I'm gonna lock it down Unfortunately, I'm I am locked down too. I'm gonna lock it down. I'm gonna retreat And then it can't get to me that didn't work out, but you guys get the idea, okay? I, I that, that didn't work, but you guys I'm pretty sure you guys understood what I was trying to say there All right Now we got the only thing with the lockdown module is it does have some reload times. You gotta wait for it to cool cool down or whatever. So let's try this again. This little blitz is gonna rush at us, I'm pretty sure. Here it comes, right? Here comes something. Lockdown, suppress, run away. It can't get towards us and we're gonna leave. We're gonna get to safety while this thing is locked down. And then since we have weapons with a range, we can still shoot at it. Again, that didn't go as planned, but you, you kind of get the idea. We did lock him down, and we did get away from him. So hopefully this makes sense. All right, lockdown is actually a great thing for surviving. Now, I wouldn't go building lockdown weapons just because you need to survive, but on certain robots, lockdown is a very, very nice thing to have. It, on the Blitz, really, the Blitz doesn't need it. The Blitz is a tough little robot. Now, when he doesn't have his ability... Ah, crap. We're about to die. Okay. Now, let's bring in the Hawk. We got locked down on the Hawk. Let's get up in the air instantly and just zap these people. We're going to lock that guy down. Look, he can't move. We're going to get that kill. As soon as his last stand wears off, he's done. Let's zap this guy. And unfortunately, I got to wait over 20 seconds for the next lockdown to kick in. Someone's shooting me over this way. So this is where lockdown is very handy, but I died anyways, okay? Let's bring in the Aljun. I think he's got lockdown. Let's lock that guy down and just burn him and smash. Oh, he went into a purple shield. But I was able to lock that guy down and leave, okay? See how that works? I locked him down and then I got on out of there where he can't damage me. 
So that's how you want to use it for survivability. So you've seen two things there. You've seen me lock down somebody and kill them, and you've seen me lock down somebody and get the heck on out of there so I didn't die. So well, hopefully you guys get the point. All right, so you guys get the idea. I don't think I need to talk about it anymore, so let's get back to some regular gameplay, all right? So we got a scorpion down here in the hole. He's about to, he's about to come on in here. Check this out. I've got a new idea for killing scorpions. All right, he's within range. So as soon as he disappears, right there, turn around. Oh, he left. I was going to try. Ooh, what's going on here? It didn't quite work out. I was going to go up in there and burn him as soon as he teleported behind me. But he was like, I'm out of here. And he left. So I, that, I didn't get to make that happen. But it's probably going to happen again. There he is. Locked down. And I shoot him. And unfortunately, he locked me down. I died. Okay. So the lockdown didn't save me on that one. But guess what? We know exactly where that scorpion is. And this kind of sucks. There's titans on the battlefield. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to be super, super, super lucky not to die here because there are titans everywhere. Everywhere are titans, guys. Titans are everywhere. Crap. Nope. Dead. Dead. All right. I need to bring in my Arthur because everybody's got a titan right now. Nothing but titans. So let's bring in the big guns. This guy will destroy the world, okay? Arthur will destroy the world. Still my favorite titan by far. I love Arthur, man. I love the Arthur. Me and Arthur are best friends. I pro I'm not I'm not making this up. We we hang out together. We we do everything together. We are good friends, all right? We, we go shopping, we take baths. I mean, we, we do it all. Me and Arthur just hanging out. Good times, good times. Good times with Arthur, guys. We even share our, you know, ice cream sundaes. I can use them like a teddy bear when I go to sleep. I mean, it's, it's, it's so nice. All right, our team lost. Our team lost, so we didn't do very good. Did we? No. No, no. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. I only had 1.5 million damage and two kills. So that wasn't great. That wasn't great. That team kicked our butts. We got our butts kicked. All right. So there's the stats. I came in way down on the low end. All right, let's go play another one. All right, so here we go. We're going to start off with the... Let's start off with the Blitz again. But yeah, sometimes I don't care how good you are at the game or what kind of awesome plan you have, like using the lockdown to escape. Sometimes it doesn't work. Like, for example, heck, they locked me down. Let's, let's lock this dude down, right? Now if I need to leave, except for my stupid teammate blocked me, all right, I wasn't able to leave, but I could have got away from that situation easily if it wasn't for that dang spider bot with his tangly old legs. Mr. Tangly Legs over there kept me from getting away, but... Yeah, lockdown is very handy for many things. Oh, I tried to suppress him and he instantly went into his ability, just like this, except for it's a Ravena, right? I just locked him down and then he died pretty much instantly. So that was a waste of lockdown. Locked him down. Now he's shooting me, so this is a good time to escape. Oh, he's unlocked down. Let's suppress this dude before I got die, right? And now I'm gonna go after him. That's a tough little turd, man. Tough little turd. Alright, let's bring in our Ravena. Die, dude. I could have used. If I had it, I could have used locked on ammo. So he locked down. Then I could have rushed him and smashed him and killed him quickly. Ooh. But I didn't put a lockdown module on this guy. 
I'm gonna go ahead and run out of here because I'm taking big damage from somebody. I don't understand how he didn't die right there. That guy should have been dead. Sometimes I feel like these shotguns don't even hit my target. I really feel that way often. Man, look, they did, they're doing more damage to the Falcon than they are to the other guy. This is where it would be nice to have a second mechanic skill. So when the enemy... Actually, we got three beacons. But if you have that other mechanic skill where the enemy team has, you know, three or more beacons... And you get extra healing, that would be sweet. That is a situational skill, but it would be a really nice situational skill. We're gonna, we're gonna go after the Strider because he's being super annoying, but he's got a buddy over there. Ah, oh, crap. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bring in the Aljun. Personally, I don't feel that the Hawk replaces the Aljun, guys. I don't really feel that the Hawk replaces the Aljun. Uh, yeah. I would love to have both in my hangar. Honestly, I want both of these in my hangar. So I'm, I'm kind of bummed that they're thinking about nerfing this guy. Now, his, his ability doesn't really do that much to begin with, in my opinion. The Aljun's ability is kind of weak. See ya, dude. Hurry up and get your ability back, buddy. Alright. Everybody's got some sort of thing where I can't... But look at that. That ability is doing nothing to him. Of course he's in phase shift mode, though. <laughs> Alright, hold on, guys. Hold on. Ooh, it's a nemesis, all right? No, it's a something else assist, and it's smashing me up. Okay, it's a hawk. I just got eaten by a hawk. Let's bring in our scorpion. There he is. There's that dirty hawk. There's that dirty hawk. All right, come on, get close, get close, 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 close. Yes, he's a dead hawk, too. This is how you kill a hawk. Shoot. Never mind. I'm out of here. We gotta wait for him to land again. That's him right there, all right? We gotta wait 12 more seconds. That's him up there. There he is. Six, five, four, three, two. Now he's got a 20 second cooldown. So that gives me plenty of time to get in here, bash this guy, all right? And then get on out. Holy crap, there's a Titan and a Hawk. That thing just smashed me. That sucked. That sucked. That was some super sucky stuff. Not to be, not to be confused with the awesome, holy crap, holy. Not to be confused with the awesome rock and roll band called the Super Suckers. Check this out. Mr. Ming, yeah, they're shooting me, yes. They're shooting me. That's doing some nice damage to that Ming. All right. Now, hopefully, I don't die. Look, I couldn't get back to safety. This is the problem with the hawk. He sucks on the ground. He's like a worthless bag of silver on the ground. Awesome in the air, but on the ground, he's just a dead turd, man. If you don't, if you don't get back to cover when you land and you're out in the open, someone's gonna kill you instantly. Titan Slayer. So that didn't work out, did it? We did do some nice damage for a second, and then I don't know how I pulled that off. Oh, that's a hawk. That's a hawk. Let's shoot him. Let's, sh let's shoot him. I noticed it wasn't doing very much damage to my Titan, okay? The hawk wasn't really doing that much to my Titan, so I feel like my Titan could have just kept shooting him, and it would have been no big deal. Now, you guys saw the video I made yesterday where it just, a normal robot takes so much damage just from shooting a hawk, it doesn't even have to shoot you back. It's crazy. It's ludicrous. It's gone plaid, guys. It's gone plaid. Anybody see Spaceballs? 
If so, you'll remember, you'll know what Gone Plaid's all about. I miss movies like that. They don't make movies like that anymore. Movies these days are not like they used to be, I'll tell you that. I will tell you that for sure. I'm about to choke on my coffee. I think I swallowed that wrong. Mmm, goodness. Alright, 1.8 million damage. Still not great. Five kills, one beacon. And I guess we'll go play one more game. Alright, last battle. I think we'll bring in the Hawk on this big ol' map. I really like playing the Hawk as a... Oh wait, I thought this was the other map. Never mind. There's two maps that look like the moon, and that's kind of weird. This is the smaller moon type map, right? Now what was I gonna say? I was gonna tell you guys something and I've totally forgot, but somebody is about to get locked down and... Die. Well, okay. That was interesting. We had two Hellburners over there. That didn't work out, did it? Yeah, zap. These weapons are nice and strong. The only thing I have in this, and the only weapons I have in this game that are Mark II, I've got two Scourges, two Sparks, and one Calamity. I'm working on making my second Calamity Mark II, but I'm a little worried it's just not gonna be that great after. Check it out. Lock it down, zap it. Lock it down, zap it. How did he not get locked down? That's the one thing I hate about phase shift is he was able to, come on targeting system, you suck. I didn't get that kill because the targeting system went haywire. That makes me so mad, I hate this freaking targeting system. If you forget to lock on to somebody, you don't get your kill because it, it shoots somebody who's, you know, 5,000 meters over to the left instead of the guy who's right in front of you. That's one of the few things in this game that just infuriate me is this darn targeting system, you know? Alright, watch this. As soon as we can find... not not that We're not going to lock that guy down, but we are going to go ahead and get up in the air and shoot at him. See, he's got that ability. Lock this dude down. He can't leave, right? How did he not lock down? He must have anti-control or something. Anyways, why am I up there? Get off of there, dude! Ah! Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, lock, 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 lock. Yes. All right. I would have like 9 million kills by now if it wasn't for that targeting system malfunctioning. Let's try and take some of these dudes out. Freaking targeting system. At least I'm racking up some big damage with this guy today. Zip. I get stuck. Every time I land with the hawk, he gets stuck on something. Ah. Oh, what in the... Where did that thing come from? I'm gonna lock him down with the module and I'm gonna try... He didn't get locked down again. That guy's got anti-control units. So I died. So I guess when you have anti-control, forget all about the whole lockdown saving your butt so you can get away because you can't lock those dudes down. All right, I still like my Aljun way better than I like the Hawk. That's all I'm gonna tell you guys. Hawk is really cool and he's really fun, but he's not as fun to play as this guy. I don't know why, but this robot is more fun than any robot in the game. Triple kill. This robot is way more fun. I don't feel that Hawk is a, a replacement for the Aljun at all. Some people might look at it that way, but I don't think so. I don't think so. There we go. Fire. F -f 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 fire Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. Fire in your face. Fire in your face. How? He got too far away. Come on, somebody get within range. We got Titans. We got to be careful over here. I just heard a Titan drop in. We got two Aljuns up in the air. All right, we got to watch out. We got to watch out. 
There's the Titan. Nasty little Titan. I'm going to lock on to this guy. Locked on. Locked on to this guy. I got to remember to start using my lock on when I try to target somebody because the stupid game can't seem to get it right. Where'd that guy go? Okay, he's not behind me. I just saw a scorpion teleport, and that means you better watch your back. If you see a robot disappear, turn around. Turn around, or you might get stomped. All right, you might get stomped in the face. All right, Mr. Arthur, I'm coming for you. Oh, wait, there's something else. Let's, let's go up in the air and shoot that guy down first. Crap. There, I didn't lock on. I probably should have. Titan, dude, you're pushing me. Yeah, yeah. Stop, man. What am I doing? I thought I had phase shift, and I hit the lockdown, and I died. Oh. All right. Um. Okay, we lost that beacon. I'm going to bring in my Titan, I guess. There's Titans everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my Titan in. And... That's still a really awesome Spectre skin. I don't care what anybody says. I love that Spectre skin. I love that Spectre skin. That thing is the best. I wish I could get that with the 5% hit points or whatever. I would much rather... The new Spectre skin is really cool, but I love the neon lighting ones. The ones with the lights are just amazing. I love things that light up, guys. If it lights up, I love it for the most part. Unless it's a nasty color like a brown light. I don't want to see a brown light. I don't know if such a thing even exists, but I don't want to see one if it does. You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? Hopefully this guy lands soon. Come on, land. Nah, he's going to land where I can't get him, I think. Ooh, there's somebody I can hit. Thank you for the silver, sir. I appreciate that very much. Someone's shooting me in the back. Titan You're next, slave. dude. Come on, targeting system. Shouldn't it target the guy you're pointing directly at and not the guy next to him? Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What kind of wackiness is that? All right. Mmm. Mmm. Locked down. Ah. Uh, all right. There he is. Ah ha ha ha. Boom. Hit you in the eye, buddy. Let me shoot this guy in the eye. You're about to die. You're about to die. You're gonna die. Yeah. Smash. Bash. Explosions. Let me go get this beacon over here real quick. Yeah. So you're getting to see annoyed lightning on this battle where things are annoying me. You don't see that too often, do you? I don't get annoyed and angry very often. I don't even think I got the darn beacon. My teammate stole it. Now, I know there's some way you're supposed to be able to open and shut your doors and boost yourself up a little higher so you can shoot over things with the Arthur. I can't figure out how to make this happen. It does not work for me. I don't get it. I just don't get it. All kinds of people can do it. I see it happen all the time, and I, it does not work. I don't get it. I just don't get it. All right. See, I can't hit any anything. Oh, there's a Titan. Yes. Thank you, sir. Big more crap sandwich. Stop that. The targeting system makes me so mad in this game. It really does. That's, the, that's one of the few things that upsets me when I play this game is the targeting system. It always goes haywire. I mean, you're shooting at something, you're pointing it directly at it, and next thing you know, it's targeting something over here instead. I mean, come on. Target what you're pointing at, not the thing, you know... Ugh. Mmm. 
Come a little closer. Yes, right there. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> look at look how much health that, that guy just lost. Come on, stay down here. I got six more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. Look, ah. Oh. We almost killed him. All right, that was a fun game, guys. That was a fun game. I think that's the last one. So, anyways. You guys get the idea. That wasn't bad. Three million damage, nine kills. That's more like it. That's more like a normal game for me these days. Two to three million damage, seven to ten kills. That's what I seem to get on average. So anyways, that was a lot of fun. I came in first place. There's another guy with nine kills. There's two of us with nine, so that's good. That was a lot of fun, but hopefully that helped you guys understand kind of Even though it didn't work out that great. All right, even though it didn't work out that great Hopefully it kind of helped you guys get the idea of How to use the Lockdown to either get kills or to You know lock down your enemies so you can escape Anyways, I'm out of here. All right. See you guys later